a cold, rainy Saturday didn't stop the Denver community from coming together for Denver's community school. It's called Comcast Cares Day, where every year the TV giant encourages employees and community members alike to support a deserving organization. This year's choice, Metro State. I think it's absolutely amazing. I mean, Metro State is completely linked in with the community. We have a lot of students here who come from the community and stay in the community and have Comcast recognize that and have us be the beneficiary of the program is fantastic. And of course, we met reporters did our part as well. We're painting the walls here at Metro State. But it's the effort of Metro State students and the community that will really leave its mark. Hey, I made a pretty big mark over here with the landscapers as well. We planted approximately 20 trees, but no roots go as deep as this community's. And that's not the only thing that's trying to grow on campus. The food bank is trying to grow as well. And the goal is to get 45,000 pounds of food, enough to feed 30,000 people. And Comcast Cares Day did much more than just help Metro State. It brought together families, friends, colleagues, and yes, even Rowdy, for a cause greater than themselves. Oh, well, I've been doing this for, like, years, and I think it's really fun. I have a lot going on right now, but I am so happy to do it because we're helping people who really need it. So I'm excited to do it. Part of a student's experience needs to be getting involved in the metro community as well as the metro Denver area community. One of the things we find at Metro is that students, because it's a commuter campus, have a hard time figuring out how to find the community here, and projects like this are a perfect way to do that. For the Met Report, I'm Reese King with Todd Diamond and Anthony Castura.